Graham, thanks for talking to us. Congratulations, breakthrough player of the year. That's not a bad award to win at Crow Alexander, is yeah. it? Because there's been some terrific players that have come through the ranks. Yeah, I'm, I'm just grateful for the experiences that I've been able to like be able to play. But uh, yeah, it's been a great achievement for me and I'm really grateful for what's happened this season. We've had a great season and like you said, many people could uh, were runners, well, not runners up, but were in contention and could have got it as well. But yeah, I'm glad that I've, I've been able to take the award. When you look at the list of people who've won it previously, you'll see some terrific names. Can that spur you on as well for the future? Yeah, and especially especially the names that I've gotten before and where they've got to now, and especially even seeing De Owen Dale today get all his awards as well. That just gives me inspiration for the future and definitely for next season to even if to try and get like that as well. So yeah, it's been a good second half of the season for you, hasn't it? You know, you had to bide your time wait your chance and now you're finishing strong there but you wish the season was carrying on don't you yeah 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 um i had injury at the start of the year which put me back a bit but getting into the team around february time was great and then yeah it's been definitely a strong end to the season for for me personally because i've been playing games and yeah like you said i would would have loved a few more games just getting them under my belt but even finishing strong the end of this season pushes me spurs me on for the next season to play well when I come back for off off the off season and back into pre season. Yeah, the experience of getting into a League One side and gives you confidence, and it, it, that's what that's what you want to take on now. You you feel as though you you you, you feel right and ready to go. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm just excited to do another season. Hopefully, get a lot more games under my belt next season. Yeah. What's it been like, you know, being involved at, at the League One level, you know, against the opposition? What have you found? I found that against different teams, it's been a lot different. The speed's very high. I feel like there's obviously games where teams are more direct and there's obviously teams with players which are very tricky. So I've had to change my approach to each game. But I've, obviously the level's very high and I just want to keep going up the levels. How much has it done for your game overall that you've gone from where many people were thinking Rio Adebisi is going to be a a push there for a, for a left back position or a left sided role that you've turned out more games on the right side I know um, it is, it's a strange one but I've enjoyed it and uh, to be fair I enjoy bo both sides as well as each other um, I, I enjoy playing right back because I'm cutting on my left and I'm stronger side uh, but yeah both sides don't really bother me I'm, I'm, I'm settling in well and um, like I said right side I can cut in on my left or use my right foot to cross balls in and get assists and try to get shots away you know what I mean Obviously, you've done pre-season training for a few seasons now, since you've turned the professional sort of player. But this pre-season that's coming is one where you really are in the first team mix, aren't you? How important is that now that you you build yourself up, you do everything right, and, yeah. and, and you work hard through the summer and when it comes back to to the proper pre-season? I think, like for me personally, I've. The past few seasons I've had injuries in pre-season so I need to make sure that when I come back I manage my body right and if I do feel a niggle get that sorted but yeah this this pre-season is a big one because I'm in contention to start quite a bit and as Pixie's going I might be the starting left back so yeah I just make, need to make sure I'm coming back um, very fit and ready to go really. How do you keep yourself you know knowing that you've got to be got to be right? It's just mentality, really. Just getting up in the morning, knowing you got, you want to better yourself. I'd say, um, for me personally, I just, it's just how I am. Like I always want to improve anyway. So when I when I know next season, I need to be ready. I'm never going to switch off and off season. I'm always going to be ready for the new season. Well done, congratulations. Thank you very Best much.